are 33 points behind and just 25 on the table. Oh, just a little too hard. Two. That's bad luck. The pink was right, the pace was wrong. Now it's another potable ball for John to have a go at. He's reluctant to put everything into that one. He played it very carefully. one facet of uh, John Parrott's game that could be faulted, I would suggest that it's that at times he hits the ball too hard. Surely this is a tremendous lesson. Well, the big point about that now as well, instead of Mike just being able to Thank you, gentlemen. level the scores with the 25, he can now win. three points behind and 25 remaining so Mike has hauled himself right back into this frame and indeed the match and all for that green that was sitting over the pocket and he thrashed with contempt and he could have dropped it in Another chance now for Mike to get this cue ball in behind the brown. Oh, he attempted the snooker behind the blue, pushing the green down into the safe position with the black covering the pocket. Good tactics. snooker I believe it's we don't see the angle as the player does but it appears from our position that this is a very nice snooker oh, oh well, well now what a great try that was he had to swerve the white ball around the pink and he went so close to the green and ideal position on the brown. Now of course what has to happen for Mike to have a winning chance. John has got to miss the green 
and he certainly won't be trying to do that. It's all on the green. How did it stay out? Great shot. Now this is even better than the last one. This is not easy. And he cannot afford to leave it there. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen fortunes fluctuate so much, Jack, as I have in this particular match. Both players are having their lucky breaks. So what happens from here? But I would guarantee that if John loses this frame, he will never ever forget it because he had the match won. The green was sitting over the pocket and he thrashed it. Mike's problem here, of course, is making the angle on the blue to get to the pink. Quite a good angle, he's left himself to pop the blue and take the cue ball to the far end cushion, the side cushion, or perhaps even straight down the table behind the pink. Well, that's uh, a beautiful pot. Certainly, uh, he's now in a tough, tough position. So it could start all over again here. So John Parrott, 65, Mike Hallett, 58, requiring the pink and the black. Thank you, gentlemen. And what a frame of snooker this is. Oh, and it's there. And surely he cannot miss the black. And just look at John. Well, words can't describe how John must be feeling. And Eddie, I don't think the pair of us we've had seen so much, you've never seen a frame of snooker like this before. No, that is one of the boldest 18. pots at this stage of a match that I have ever seen, and he fully deserves to win. Well, wonderful, wonderful snooker. Six frames to five. My palette through to the final and he's given us a joy today to watch such a wonderful play.